What's going on everybody, this is RF Mike, and today we are taking a look at the updated ASUS ZenWatch Manager app. I currently have an ASUS ZenWatch watch face running on the app, that's how it looks in ambient mode. We will go more into that here in a bit, but first I'm going to show you what the refreshed app looks like if you guys haven't bothered to check out your app that you have on your device. So as you can see there is a new logo. I just freshly installed it on the M8 even though the M8 is not paired to it but this way you can see here what is new you get a new welcome setup screen download manager setup is complete so here's what is new in the new ASUS ZenWatch manager as you can see updated you may now enjoy the following features brand new design most popular watch face selection let you know what the watch faces are most popularly used in the ZenWatch community. Recommended watch faces select and share about new about the new creative design we just came out with. More watch faces, more flexibility to what is that? More flexibility. Customize your watch faces. You can get up to three information widgets on your watch face. Support for interactive watch faces. That is a big one. That goes with the new. Android Wear version that is out right now. So now you can have whatever you select on your watch face, you can interact with it and go into weather, calendar, fitness, new improvements, improved phone toner, phone helper app. So it gives you ability to remote control Wi Fi, blah, blah, blah. So as you guys can see, you can read all this. I don't need to read everything out for you. But this does support the original Zen Watch and the Zen Watch 2. So that way you guys do know this new updated version of the app works with all watches and okay so yes you can see this is not the watch face that is currently on my watch this is just what it shows so this is what it looks like on here you can see it's not giving you a battery percentage any of that stuff at the moment because again this watch manager is not connected so out of the watch faces there are now 36 different watch faces to choose from you can customize your colors you can customize what you want on there so now that is now that you've seen what it looks like when you first boot it let's go to the LG G4 here and shut this one down because we have no need for this and we will put this off to the left side here in our frame And there is also here face design. That is also by ASUS. They have come out with their own designer designing face watch face app. Face watch app. There we go. We can say that right. So open up Zen Watch. As you can see, this looks more like what I have right here on my watch. This is one of the more popular watch faces. Um, I put in that background. As you can see here where it says background, you can actually add your own background whether it's a picture you've done something that you have in your Dropbox something you've recently taken you can actually select your own background for your watch face and position it the way you want if you hit you can see there it says my watch is about 83 percent and then how much space has been used on the watch out of the available space if you hit customize you can customize what you want to show on the watch face as you can see right now I have selected the battery and phone widget and then I have the weather. Everything else you can see is kind of grayed out or darker. So there is quite a bit of stuff you can select. We will jump to the wash face for a second. When you wake it, you can see my watch face with what I have set as my background, which is a photo I have taken. And if we select the weather, It'll take a second, but you can see we interact with that widget, that weather widget, and it now shows us what the temperature is going to be today, what the weather is currently. We can see the UV, humidity, when the sun's going to set, pollutant standard index, and our forecast right here from inside the ASUS ZenWatch watch face. If you were to select on battery, it doesn't do anything. Phone battery, doesn't do anything. Time and date, you open that up, 
And you can see here, once we get in focus, you can see there it says no events. I have nothing planned for today. And as you can see, it is kind of a rotary dial for the minutes. So it is 3.11 in the afternoon right now. But anyway, that is one of the many watch faces that you can now select from. What we'll do here is I will leave this on the side. Let's see if I can get this to prop up and stay on its own. And while that is on the side there, we will go on ahead and look at what's most popular. So now when you look at your popular watch faces that are featured in the Asus Zen Watch, you can slide from left to right to go through and see what you like. And you just got to remember, this is what you look at is how the watch faces are stock. You can actually change the hand colors. You can change, like we said, what notifications you want on the watch. You can set all that stuff up the way you want. So those are the most popular. Scroll down. What's recommended. And then you scroll down again, you can see what are the recommended apps that work with the Asus Zen Watch. Now I know Motorola has done their own Motorola Watch Companion app for the original Moto 360, and I'm sure they've updated it as well for the for the 360, the second generation that's coming out. If any of you guys have noticed that you have more customization just like the Asus Zen Watch, go on ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know. In the future, I do plan on getting a second-gen Moto 360 for my wife, so we'll definitely be taking a look at its uh, watch companion app versus the Zen Watch. Uh, this Zen Watch companion app, the manager app, was actually updated, I want to say, the day after they announced the new Marshmallow 6.0 update. I think Asus is one of the manufacturers when it comes to the Android Wear watches that has been trying to keep on top of it and pushing these updates out pretty quick and I am actually pretty pleased with it. In another video I will go over their watch face designer app so that we can make our own watch faces and we'll see how that goes. So what I will do next here is we're going to go ahead and select a different app. Let's try our watch face. Let's do the twilight. And you can see the twilight is going to change. And there it is on the watch. Let's say I want to change the background. Let's see what we can choose from. We'll do Another one of my nature type of backgrounds here. Let's say we do that. And as you can see, your photo is not going to fit entirely. You get to choose what you want to see in your photo on the watch face. So say we want a little bit of that branch of the tree with some of the tr leaves that are changing. Hit apply. And that should apply to the watch face, and there it is. Pull this up. I'm get a good look, a close look at this. Wake it. And there you go. So we can see steps for today. We tap on that. Interacts. Pull up today's target. Calories. Taking that's calories burned. Yes. And then the, the battery life that is on the watch. Now we should be able to change any of those out. Let's go into customize, and yes, we can swap out whatever we want. So say I want to make this just like the other watch face, maximum of only three things. Let's take off calories and put on phone battery. Let's go back to the watch and take a look. And as you can see, that has changed. There we go. Alright, so we're keeping daily steps. Uh, the battery, phone. Well, actually, let's say I want to take off daily steps and let's go with the weather again. So we'll select weather. So now we have weather and then the battery life's. And I bet if we actually take off phone and put it back on. Yes, it has come after. So you can rearrange what you want where, but depending on which ones you select first. Let's go back to the watch and take a look. So as you can see, we have the battery life for the watch, 
weather, and then the battery life on the phone with that nice background. So quite a bit of customization that you can do now with all of Asus's watch faces. Um, I'm sure they will probably add more watch faces like this. This is what is the most popular watch faces right now. If you want to see all, you can select the watch faces themselves. And you can see here, you can customize background. That just works on the current watch face. And if you go through the whole list here, you can find everything that's recommended watch faces. Again, along with the most popular. Scroll down to the sports. Simplicity. And the urban type, which is a lot of metals and gears. And we'll go down to digital digital watch faces and youth so everything is customizable and this is Asus I'd say is catching up to uh, the amount of watch faces they have next to the Huawei smartwatch I know that one has preloaded with over 40 different watch faces the nice thing is uh, with Android Wear in general we can basically go ahead and uh, hide all these watch faces so you don't have all that stuff sitting on the sitting in your app clogging up space you can make it all uh, kind of disappear so that we don't have all that building up on the watch itself as well um, I think that'll be it for this video and in the next one we will go over the new Asus hold up here face designer and this is for the Asus Zen watch as you can see I have not opened this app yet this is my first time getting into it and I think we'll save that for another video so Thank you everybody for checking out this updated version of the Asus Zen Watch Manager. If you guys like the video, please hit that like button. It helps me out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you know anybody else that has an Asus Zen Watch or Zen Watch 2, go on ahead and feel free to share the video. I'm Marv Mike, and I'll see you guys in the next one.